from the don't you don't you say it like <laughs> well no duh sherlock well hello everyone and welcome back to one shot my name is mer and i know it's been a while but we're back we're back here with Nico, and we are going to explore this library if it is the last thing that we do. But it won't be the last thing that we do because we're going to finish this game. Darn it. <laughs> We've already come so far. Okay. So let's come in here. Ooh, I already see a person. Look at all the people. They're all reading. This is new. Never see this in this day and age. What? <laughs> what? I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you're in a library. There's books in the library. <laughs> he must be a teenager. Hello, sassy. Go bug the chatty one upstairs. Oh, but you look so interesting. I wonder, like, can I hold? Someone's got to know something about the strange journal. He just glared at me. I don't think we should bother him, Mer. <laughs> okay, we won't bother. Okay, uh, maybe I could bother. Oh, I was wondering what, like, the glass things were. Okay, cool. So it looks like they're just piles of books on the ground. This is so fun. This is the, like, honestly, the most lively place filled with humans that I've seen this whole game, which is kind of crazy. Okay, let's talk to you. The author's book cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Quite the Renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say this city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon, these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Oh. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. She was a lot more friendly than that one guy, too. Also, this is a computer? A computer. It's currently off. Okay, good. I was wondering if it was going to be another one. <laughs> oh, hello. Do you need directions? Let's see, this area is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs and, uh... I'm not sure where the children section is. Sorry, <laughs> do I look like a kid? <laughs> I'm not really looking for books. <laughs> oh, are you here to look for the author then? No? Oh, that's good. Or I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. Is the author not here? I've been volunteering here for months, and I've never seen him, not even once. Who is the author? He works together with the lead librarian on publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kind of reclusive. Okay, so he's a her mermit. <laughs> okay, which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. Okay, I feel that. I don't really like being in groups of people, especially not for very long. That's for sure. Ooh, look. <laughs> Hello, person. Hi. <laughs> Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. That is so funny. Reshelving in progress. Oh my gosh. I love how they're helping each other. <laughs> okay, so just another computer there. It's probably turned off. Let's just check really quick. Okay, yeah. It was turned off. Just always good to check it. You never know. So there's gotta be somebody you look interesting. Hello. The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. He's got an airplane or something? That's how he gathers materials for, for his books. Wow. Yeah, that is actually really cool. But also, you have a binocular for a head. For a head. So, uh, that's really cool too. It's probably, maybe he's seen them. Ooh, look, there's more people. Oh my gosh, we're all just here. Is this like maybe the children's section? I feel like it is. The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? They're big com compendiums, so you'll see them if you look around. Oh, kind of different from his earlier work, so. Actually, there's a book right there. I don't know if I can get to it, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. Huh. Can I... Oh, I could scooch patch past you. A book with a big black clover on... Or big black clover on the cover. <laughs> the title says, Emergence of New Ecological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Oh, wow! Oh! How cool! So it's going... Oh, wait, 
no, I want to I want to read it. I didn't mean to walk away. Okay, so it goes into detail about the phosphor shrimp and then the common firefly. Wow. Okay, this is super cool. I was actually wondering if there would be any more information on like the phosphor shrimps and things like that that we found around here. Hello, I didn't know you were a person. You're going through those pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. <laughs> Yeah, the author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. What? So he's the writer and the illustrator. Wow, that's that's some talent. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat. <laughs> I like Nico's commentary. Neat. Oh, okay. <laughs> the author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he's put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. Dang. According to the head librarian, there's still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. Wow! Dang. One cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. That is interesting. I did the calculations, and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? So they all know that I'm from another world. It's strange because normally the first thing that people say whenever they meet Nico is like, oh, you are the Messiah. Blah, 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 blah. And then they continue on. But none of them have reacted to Nico being a Messiah. So I, I, that, I did think that was a little weird. Now, I just saw it in a movie once about superheroes and stuff. <laughs> Okay, all right, so I think we've talked to... No, we actually didn't talk to you, Cuphead. So, what do you think about the author? I don't know anything about him. Have you read his stuff yet? No. If not, you should. Do you have a book I can use? Oh, wait, there's a book right here, too. What is this about? Comprehensive Guide to Phosphors. Ooh. As a general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor or higher of higher energy. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its or original brightness. Oh. oh, wow. Okay, there's so much. So this is going into the blue phosphor. There's green phosphor? Oh yeah, there was, because that was in the Glen. Man, I hope we get to go back to the Glen. I really liked that area. Ooh, red phosphor. Red phosphor is the lowest energy. Huh. But it's in the refuge where everybody is. Mineral forming can only give out light when in solution. Huh. That's too- I feel like I'm gonna need both of those books, maybe to come back and research for maybe something we have to do in the future. Like with putting things together or something. Oh, hello. Are you the head librarian? Because he has a head that's a book, so the head librarian- okay. <laughs> what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. That's an interesting way. Editing an already published book. Cause otherwise, they'll think I copied him. Him? The author. <laughs> I mean, I don't really see the point in writing anything anymore. The author is just gonna write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. And nobody's gonna remember the books that came out before his. Aww. Oh. Uh. I mean, I ain't hating, <laughs> but I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent, but it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time, <laughs> even though I'm a person and cats are pets and mousers. <laughs> I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. Oh, Oh my gosh. Okay, that was actually really cute. I think that this... Yeah, okay, so that was turned off too. I just always check because the computers seem to be really important. Oh, maybe you're the head librarian. Excuse me. Oh, you are the messiah. Okay, the first one 
This has definitely got to be the head librarian. He's got a little icon next to him. He looks so cute. I love his glasses. <laughs> but, um, okay. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. And probably is the only one. Oh, goody. <laughs> well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian. Oh, okay, not the head librarian, probably an assistant. So George is the name of the head librarian. Allow me to call her. <laughs> the dial tone. <laughs> this is almost as awkward as the elevator, just kind of standing here, staring at the, staring at this robot. Nico, don't get frustrated. We're fine. She's not picking up. Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yikes. Can you get to her in person then? Leaving this post is not important. Per I guess we're going to have to go get her. Then can I go myself? Of course. Their archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Okay. Can do. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Let's kind of peek over here. Ooh, some coffee. A coffee machine. It's almost empty. Mm. Oh well. We don't need a little pick-me-up. Also, there's... Oh! Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. What? What? You didn't mention that a second ago. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head- No! She's all the way upstairs! <laughs> Allow me to call her! <laughs> no! <laughs> what is the <this> cycle? <laughs> oh no! Oh my- Can I walk away? I can't even walk away. I can't move. Nico, you're a patient, patient little kid. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe there's someone around town that'll give me one? Oh, Nico. She is not picking up. I figured. Are you you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. I guess not. Wow, I really thought this this little uh, robot was actually going to be super helpful and cute and everything and even in an emergency. My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, can't go there. Well, so I guess we have to find a library card somehow. I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. Oh my goodness. This is why there's no coffee at the other end. <laughs> okay, I can't feel my limbs. Um, but I have to stay awake. <laughs> I need to find out how this book ends. Uh, I've been there. I've been there. Curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, here's another one. All the computers are turned off. I guess it's probably to save save on like electricity and power. Where would I get a library card from? Hmm. I don't know if I have the means to make one. Have I been over here? Hmm. Oh, that's right. We talked to you before. I'm pretty sure I talked to that robot, and I think I explored over here. I guess we're gonna have to go... Okay, so in the last episode, we got to, like, this really weird alleyway, and it... There was some kind of cat or something, and it looked kind of creepy, and I thought it was gonna kill Nico, so... I didn't go near it. Oh, and I went this other way, and there's, there's a door down there, too. Okay, so it looks like we're probably gonna have to go to this alleyway that was back over this way, I think? Yeah, okay. Let's be brave. I guess we'll go in... It was around here. A bag full of trash. Gross. Yeah, don't touch it. Mm, maybe up this way? It seems like it's getting darker and darker. Nico, I'm so glad you have light. Okay. I wonder if we can go down here? 
Ooh. What is this? There's some big plastic discs in here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something? Wait, Mer, are we really gonna take these with us? But they look so heavy. All right. Hey, they're actually pretty light. Oh. Whoa. Why do we have... Oh, okay. I don't know why we have those. Frame photo of somebody. Whose place is this? What book is this? It's a big book. Title says Understanding Robots. Can I read it? I guess not. Hmm. I wonder whose house this is. What is this right here? It's empty now. I guess it was just a box. Red glowing fluid. So that's from the red phosphor. Interesting. Okay, so maybe this like we like weird alleyway is actually how you get to some people's like homes and things. Ooh. <gasps> oh no! The robot! Aw. Ooh, this looks what are you? Oh, it's a tree! Was that a fox? Mer, did you see that fox just now? I did! It ran behind the tree. Uh. I'm sorry if you are looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um. But... Can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. What do you mean by that? Who? No reply. What was that just now? Hello? Excuse me? What does the fox say? <laughs> There's no one here. Why is there a tree here? We haven't seen any natural trees in like our whole time here. And there's just one right here with the weird fox. It was like it was a fox spirit. Was that what we maybe saw in the last like episode with that? It was like a little cutscene or something that popped up. I don't know. Ooh, what is this way? I also need water. We found dirt for the plant that we got. Ooh, there's so much stuff over here. Look, they're toaster heads. Oh my gosh. <laughs> where are we now? Like, where am I? Vendor Street. Oh, cool. Okay, um, hello. Who are you? Are you here for your photos? No? All right, then. I'll just, uh, stand here. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna get a photo at some point. Wow, there's so many people. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right I want to talk to people maybe in order. Also, is there more people this way? Oh Hey, it's our friend Hey, you looking for something? Yeah, I need to find a library card now Any idea where I can get one? From the don't you don't you say it like <laughs> Well, no, duh, Sherlock. Oh my gosh. I tried that already. The person in charge wasn't there. Oh, uh, maybe check out the factory? You can just take the stairs at the end of the street and make a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. Scientists read books, right? Good. <laughs> I really like the way that he's like processing this to help us they might help you all right well thank you okay i'm actually really glad that we talked to you that that was super helpful so now let's come over here and talk to some of these vendors hey kid want some soup dumplings they're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts wow what a sell i'll pass <laughs> smart okay what about this one is it gonna be the same smells kind of nice what is it breaded fish <gasps> mm. i toasted the bread myself I see. <laughs> that took me a second to, to realize. Okay, so we've already talked to him. What are these? Stan smells a bit like burnt sugar? Yep, still getting the hang of making these bread 
candy skewers. They don't taste too bad though. Do you want one? It's okay. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Ooh, what is this? Hey, hey! Ready for me to blow your mind? Sure. Okay, so. I've invented a medicine to prepare, prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water. And then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. Oh. What? It also makes plants grow faster. What? I want that. How does it work? Here, why don't you take a free sample? <gasps> we got the water! Thanks! Don't thank me. Go spread the word. Okay, dude. All right, we got some water. We can definitely take this a water pill. Goes in water, supposedly. Oh, I still need water. Dang it! I don't know where I'm supposed to get water from. Okay, let's head over to this factory. It's gotta be somewhere over here. Oh, I think I was actually supposed to go. Ooh, where are we going? What's happening? The music just changed. I'm scared now. Is this the factory? Where are we going? Why are there always such long roads? Oh, this is interesting. Okay. All right, I think we made it to the factory. Oh yeah, this is definitely the factory. Okay. All right. Is there anybody over here we can talk to? No, but there's just more places I can go in for the factory. Okay. All right. Well, hello, robot. I see you right there. Okay. Well, so anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. We're back at it with one shot. I'm definitely going to have probably, I think, three episodes or something of one shot a week. I'm thinking Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays and everything. Kind of kind of normal schedule and everything as I get back into the swing of things. So thank you for bearing with me, and I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.